Ladies and gentlemen, let's read game instead of com video. It would appear that the GTX 960 is going to be released in January. That would be at the Consumer Electronics Show. Now, we know that this is likely to be the case for, well, a simple reason. You might recall that before the GM204, also known as the 970 and the 980s, were released, they had code names for, for certification of PG401. Now, another board has recently popped up a couple of days ago, and this one is known as PG301, which is a pretty good indicator. I have done this in an article as well, but I'm going to go through most of the information in this video anyway. Now, there's no mention of the specifications, but we can make a couple of educated guesses based on the 980 and the 970, and also by taking into account, say, the GTX 780, the 770, and finally, of course, the 760. So, I have gotten this written down if because I'm not exactly 100% clear today because my brain is dying because of the flu, but... Um, Here's the basic uh, architecture of Maxwell. You get 128 CUDA cores per SS SMM, um, and basically this means that you have 2,048 CUDA cores in the GTX uh, 980. You, the 970 meanwhile has 1,664, or if you prefer that, 16 SS SMMs versus 13 SMMs. So in other words, each of these has 128 CUDA cores, right? Okay, so if we use the same pattern, it's likely that we're going to be getting around 1,280 CUDA cores for the 960. Although it's possible it could be 1,408, which would be 11 SS SMMs, or maybe a little bit less, but the most likely figure would be 1,280. In regards to the memory, things become a bit more complicated because there's a couple of configurations that people are banding about, and both make some deal of sense. You've got 3GB of RAM and 2GB of RAM running over 128-bit memory interface or 192. Now, personally, I would imagine 3GB of VRAM on a 192-bit interface would make more sense, because let's be totally honest, 2GB is not really going to set the world alight, and 128-bit, unless the memory is cranked up really high, even though the Maxwell is pretty efficient, I would imagine we're going to get some VRAM problems, or should I say, uh, bandwidth problems, particularly if you're deciding to SLI. So let's say, for example, you decide to buy a card, let's say January, and you decide to buy another one in March, and you want to go for like 1440p on a higher screen, which is quite a popular thing to do. People do sometimes buy like SLI cards for this reason. It can actually sometimes outperform um, a higher end card. For example, you can get two 760s and they perform pretty damn well. It could be a problem with only 2 gigabytes of RAM. Now, I have a couple of issues with this because the basic price range, and once again, we can only guess this, um, is likely to be about 250 to 300 US dollars. We can once again make a rough educated guess simply based on previous pricings of Nvidia's cards. So the problem with that is it puts it really in an uncomfortable spot, at least in my opinion, because it's really close to AMD's R9 290 price range. You can get the R9 290 without shopping about, literally just going to Amazon uh, US I just used, and then you can just kind of search for any R9 290. And this is without no coupons, no no sales, no no basically messing about. You just do a quick search, and certainly I'm sure that you guys in the United States, you probably know cheaper places you can go, or you know, like coupon deals, that type of thing, and obviously us Brits do the same thing, like we have speci uh, specialised retailers sometimes. But anyway, I digress, they're doing the R9 three, uh, 290 for about 300 US dollars, and it doesn't really take a particular genius to know that that is probably going to outperform the 960. Once again, if we obviously it does depend on the benchmark, on the game, and a few other points, but the 960 um, is likely not going to be able to outperform a 290. I mean, the 290 is being really competitive. It doesn't quite beat it. It's a couple of frames slower, 
but it's getting quite close to the 970. Now, obviously, the 970 is a little faster, especially in certain benchmarks. But um, yeah, so I I I don't really see that, especially if it's running with only two gigabytes of VRAM. Particularly when you take into account that AMD have just released a set of drivers which have improved uh, Crossfire, and it's also improved the fact that you couldn't get. Um, basically downsampling for in for AMD's cards now it's officially pretty much supported by the latest driver revisions now once again I'm not saying that this is going to be the case it could be Nvidia are going to be really competitive with the pricing and I hope so but if they're not um, I personally think it's going to be a bit of a win for AMD at least possibly but uh, it, it's it's kind of a weird time in the GPU market and I've said that for the last couple of months but it really is because this is honestly one of those times in the GPU market where there's no real clear easy winner. Um, while the 980, for example, is certainly the fastest single performance card, it really is a little bit more expensive than, say, the 780 Ti's, which are coming down a bit in price. And then, of course, you've got the 290 and 290X's because AMD are being really super duper aggressive with their pricing strategies recently. The 295X2 has come down a lot in price. I think you can get it for like 500 now, which is absolutely insane giving us, giving the amount of performance you can really get out of that thing. So it's it's kind of a case of you're not really going to make a really bad decision, at least in the GPU market. But the thing that gets a lot of people excited is we know that there's going to be revision B or whatever the hell it's being going to be called eventually of the new Maxwells and hopefully that's going to be the the 980 ties which obviously is going to mean an even better performance as well as the 390s and the 390x and all of the other cards of course from AMD it means that the next let's say Christmas is going to be quite competitive but I think next year is going to be insane, especially if AMD's cards with the H HBM high bandwidth memory really do come true. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Sorry for rambling a little bit, but as I said, I've been sick. I'm recovering a little bit, but I'm still not back to my normal chirpy self. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. See you soon. Take care. Bye for now.